All right, so in some cases, you're going to want to loop through an array backwards. And basically, I'm just going to start off with a very simple example. I'm just going to go four, okay? And I'm going to say let i equal, let's just start with 10, and we're going to work our way backwards to, let's say, zero. So for my condition here, I'm going to say i is greater than negative one. You could also do i is greater than or equal to zero, whatever you want to do there. And then basically, now I'm just going to go i. I'm going to go i minus minus. And then let me open up this little code block here. And I'm just going to console.log this i variable. So let's stop for a minute and think about what's going to happen. Initially, i is 10, right? And we're going to do this as long as i, which right now it's 10, is greater than negative 1. So 10 is greater than negative 1. So we're going to run this. We're going to console.log, in this case, 10, right? So once that's done, we're going to take one off or take one away. This is the decrement operator. So it takes one away. So it goes down to 9. Okay, so then we check again. Is 9 greater than negative 1? Yes. So we do this again. And this keeps going until we basically get to the point where we're at negative 1. Is negative 1 greater than negative 1? No. So this guy stops. So let's pop this open. We'll see 10 through 0 in our terminal. So we run this guy. And of course, we start at 10. Then we go to 9, 8, 7. Basically, we're looping backwards. So let me give you an example of this. You'll see this as you're coding more and more. But I'm going to start off with an example with some race winners. So we know typically if you're in some kind of contest, let's say it's a race, it could really be any contest. Basically, they normally announce the winners in reverse, right? You'll go like third place, then second place, and there's a little pause and say first place is this. So let me do something like, let's say five places. So I'm going to go const race winners. And I'm going to make this an array. And we're basically going to have some sub arrays here. So let me put my little semicolon here. And let's just start off with Jamie. And let's say that she gets first place. Okay, so she's first. And then we're going to have Jessica. And basically, she's going to be second. Okay, so that's her place. And then let's say we have Mark. So let's do Mark. And I forgot my quotes there, so Mark. And then let's say this guy is going to be obviously in third place. And then let's go with Steven, okay? And he's going to be in fourth place. And then lastly, let's do Clyde, okay? So Clyde is going to be our fifth place winner. So Clyde, and then we'll do fifth for fifth place. Okay, so basically what I can do here is just loop through backwards and make a little message basically saying the, you know, in this case, let's start with the fifth place winner is, let's say, Clyde, okay? And then if we encounter the first place winner, let's put a little emoji there showing that that person is number one, basically. So let's set up our little for loop. So we're going to go four. We're going to say let i equal. So normally we start with zero because we want to start with this first guy here. But in this particular case, we don't want zero, right? So we want, if you think about this, this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. But how can we get four dynamically? We don't want to hard code four in there because what if we have to add something to the array later? So remember you have your length property, which in this case, it's counted normally, right? So this is one, two, three, four, five. So I subtract away one to get to four. So you can always just do race winners dot length, okay? And then minus one. Okay, so that part's done. So now we need our condition. And basically, because we want to go down until we get to the first guy here, which is zero, we want to go until i is greater than or equal to zero. Or again, like I like to do, I would put i is greater than negative one. Okay, so if you put zero here and you put greater than or equal to, it's going to work the same. But I like to do it this way. That's just how I've always done. Okay, so I'm going to put my semicolon there, and then basically I want to use the decrement operator, so I want to go i minus minus. This is just taking one off of i each time. Okay, so let's pause for a minute and think about what we have for i. It's going to start out with, because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for the length, it's going to start off with 5 minus 1, which is 4. So that's the value for i. Then we're going to say is 4 greater than negative 1? Yes. So we're going to do some stuff in here. Okay, when that stuff is done, we're going to take one off of i. And so now instead of four, it's three. Okay, so now i will be three. So it's three greater than negative one. Yeah, so it's going to keep going until you get to the point where i is negative one and it's no longer greater than negative one and it's going to stop. So in here, I'm going to console.log and I'm going to use some back ticks here. And I'm just going to say v. I'm going to put dollar sign and then curly braces. I'm going to reference this race winners. So race winners. And then remember, you have some sub arrays here. So if I put my i here, this in this particular case, because it's four, it's going to start off with this whole thing, OK? And if I want their place, I want to use this guy right here. So this is zero, and this is one. 
So let's start off with one here, basically telling me that I have the fifth place. So the, in this case, this would say the fifth, and then outside of here, I'll put place winner is, and now I want the person's name. So dollar sign curly braces, I'll do race winners again, but now I want I, and then I want zero here. Now, let me put a little exclamation point here. And when I put something added in here, so I'm gonna go dollar sign curly braces, I'm gonna go race winners, basically I, and then I'm going to do one. I'm gonna check to see if this triple equals to first, okay? If it does, then what I wanna do here is add a little emoji. So let me pull this up and see if we have a first place. There we go, so I want that guy. And then otherwise, you can just put an empty string here. Okay, so that's how you can deal with that. So basically for the first guy, if we, we think about this, right now I, the first time through, is gonna be four, okay? So what's gonna happen is it's got this guy race winners with four put in here, so that gives me this whole thing, okay? And then I want one, so that gives me fifth. So the fifth place winner is, in this case, if this is four and this is zero, it's gonna give me Clyde. And then this part right here is going to be false, so you're not gonna get this, it's just an empty string, right? So you're just gonna say the fifth place winner is, in this case, Clyde. Okay, now this is going to keep going until again, I becomes negative one and it's no longer gonna do anything, right? You're gonna stop with this array here because this will be zero, okay, for the bigger array in terms of the index. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop open the terminal and we'll just run this guy real quick and we see it works as expected. So the fifth place winner is Clyde, the fourth place winner is Steven, the third place winner is Mark, the second place winner is Jessica and the first place winner is Jamie. Okay, so that works pretty well. Let's do one more example and I'm gonna tie one other concept in here. So I'm gonna do two little arrays. One's gonna be a grocery array. We've been doing this so far, so const groceries. And let's just get some items you would get at the grocery store. So something like corn, let's do chicken, let's do, let's say steak, and let's say rice, and let's say I don't know, we could do pasta and a few more just to get things going. So let's do tomatoes. Let's do maybe some beans and then let's do some ice cream. Okay, so ice cream. Okay, so that's it for our groceries. Let's do some Amazon shopping. So const, let's do Amazon shopping, something like this. And we'll just do some basic things. So remote, so like a remote control. Let's say you got some headphones. Let's say you got some paper. Let's say you got some pens. Let's say you got some frames, you're hanging some pictures. Let's say you got some plates and let's say you got some forks. Okay, so that's just a basic shopping list. Now, what I'm gonna do here is set up a little function, okay? So I'm gonna go function and I'm gonna call this unpack items and I'm going to take in an array here, okay? And basically, I know this isn't 100% realistic, but let's consider that when you buy groceries or if you buy something from Amazon, basically they fulfill the order by taking the first item and putting it in the box. So the first item would be the lowest or the last one you're gonna get to, whereas the last item is gonna be the first one you're gonna get to, right? So it basically reversed it. And I know this isn't realistic, especially with groceries, something like if you bought bread, usually that goes on the top, no matter the order that you bought it. But let's just pretend that that's realistic for a moment. So I'm gonna go something like four. I'm going to let i be equal to the array dot length, okay, the array dot length. And then I'm going to go minus one, because again, that's how I'm always gonna get the last position, okay? Now, instead of putting the semicolon here, I'm going to declare another variable here, and you can do this by just putting a comma, okay? So I'm now gonna use J, which is also common with loops, and I'm gonna put is equal to one. And I'll show you why I need this in a moment. Then I'm going to put I is greater than negative one, that's how long I want this to run to, because again, if I is zero, I wanna grab this guy, or in this case, this guy. If I is negative one, I wanna stop. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I want to basically tell JavaScript what I wanna do at the end of each iteration of the loop. Normally we just put something like I plus plus or I minus minus, but here you have two variables. So I'm gonna go I minus minus, and then I'm also gonna put a comma here and put J plus plus, okay? So this is allowed. All right, so inside the body here, what do I wanna do? Well, basically I'm just going to go console.log, okay? And we're not gonna return anything here because if you return something when you're in a function, again, that exits the function. You get the return value and you're done. So I'm just gonna do this really simply by just doing a console.log statement. And again, as we move forward, we'll see better ways to do things. So I'm just gonna go console.log, some backticks here, unpacking, and I'm gonna go item, 
and the item number is going to be J. Remember, I started this with one, and each time through, it's going to increase it by one. So it would be unpacking item one, then unpacking item two, then so on and so forth. So unpacking item J, and then to get the actual item, then I want to do my array that I passed in with the I here inside of the brackets. Again, this is going in reverse, so this is going to start with, let's say we take the groceries, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so this is the position seven here. So it's going to start with this being replaced with seven, okay, and it's going to be ice cream, and the item number will be one. So it'll say unpacking item one, which is ice cream. Okay, so let me put my period here. And basically we can just call the function, we call it once, it's gonna run through whatever we put in for the array. It's gonna go through the whole thing because of the for loop. So let's start with groceries. So I'm gonna call the unpack items, and I'm gonna pass in the groceries array. And let's pop open the terminal, clear this, and let's run this guy. And you see you get everything in reverse, right? So unpacking item one is ice cream, then item two is beans, then tomatoes, pasta, rice, steak, chicken, corn. And again, I don't know this is not completely realistic in terms of bagging, but let's just pretend that it is. So let's clear this out. Let's go back over here. And now let's pass in our Amazon shopping, and we'll see the same thing. So let's go Amazon shopping, pop this open, and run this. And again, it just does it in reverse. So we start with item one, which is forks, then plates, then frames, then pens, then paper, headphones, and finally remote. So the main idea here is to understand that, number one, you can go through an array backwards. Sometimes you're gonna to need to do this. And then also, when you're working with a for loop, notice that you can use more than one variable here. We're separating this stuff with a comma. So that's gonna be important when you get to tougher projects.